Welcome to another Forge Hub video. This is Psychoduck, and today I have the privilege of announcing the second place winner to the Meet Your Maker Squad Capture the Flag Forge Contest. If you missed the third place video, feel free to click the annotation below, and expect to see the reveal of first place at this time tomorrow. Snagging the second place slot and earning a Elgato Game Capture HD60 is Martian Molkop with his map Blockus. This is another asymmetrical one flag map which is unique in that it spawns the attackers very much uphill from the defenders. The map is set in a seaside complex of bunkers and fortifications and the way these structures are incorporated into the natural terrain creates unique play spaces for teams to contest. The Defender's Base is an expansive system of bunkers and tunnels, which provides numerous defensive options. There are a few important positions to control outside the base, but defenders will spend most of their time trying to lock down the numerous entrances into the base itself. This keeps players on their toes, as there are so many entrances for the team to guard at any given time. Meanwhile, the attackers spawn with the high ground and a wealth of offensive options at their disposal. One of the most interesting and important positions to take advantage of as an attacker is the central rock arch. This is a very exposed position which is extremely powerful in the right circumstances. A rocket launcher, the map's primary anti-vehicle weapon, is placed directly beneath the arch. The rockets are also useful for flushing defenders out of some of the narrower corridors in their base. A deep trench leads out of the front of the defense base. If a flag carrier can make it through this trench, they will have the opportunity to throw the flag through a hole in the ceiling, landing it at rocket spawn. This strategy almost always requires the carrier to sacrifice himself, and will not work if there are not other players waiting on the exposed rocket platform in order to continue moving the flag. If executed properly, this strategy allows for the quickest flag runs available on blockets. However, it is extremely risky and requires that the attacking team be very coordinated in controlling key positions and moving the flag. On Blockus, each team comes equipped with a Warthog. This map does an excellent job of encouraging these vehicles to interact with infantry throughout the map. There is a long road behind the defender's base which allows their Warthog ample cover from attacker controlled positions while giving it the freedom to pop out and play more offensively when necessary. This area also gives the attackers the ability to approach the base from behind and even manage to get the flag in a hog, though this style of capture is rarely seen. Narrow ditches can be found along some of the driving routes, which give infantry opportunities to fluidly drop out of engagements and access underground tunnels. Like on Entrenched, the flag return point is placed on an exposed platform. This platform is in plain view of the defender's turret and can be engaged from several other long lines of sight as well. Attackers will need to be controlling the entire map to affect the score without suffering massive casualties. Blockus does an excellent job of encouraging teams to coordinate and develop creative strategies, both when attacking and defending. The map's mix of long sniper lanes and tight corridors caters to different playstyles. The excellent driving routes further enhance the variety of ways to play on Blockus. The map's geometry is unique both from a visual and a gameplay perspective. This really is one of the best one flight designs we've seen in a long time. Congratulations to Martian Molkoff for coming in second place. It was really a pleasure to see this map, along with several others, grow and improve over the course of the contest. Stay tuned for the reveal of first place tomorrow. This has been Psychoduck with the Forge Hub YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.